Well, good morning. This is Pastor Jay coming to you from the church office. And I want to begin a series today on parables. A parable is an illustration. Uh, Jesus used them all the time. And I know I spend a lot of my time looking for illustrations because I want you to understand what I'm saying. I want you to get a visual picture in your mind of the message I'm trying to get across. So let's look at a parable today called the parable of the sower. This is from Mark 4. Let me read this to you. A sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seed fell on the path, and the birds came and ate it up. Other seed fell on rocky ground, where it did not have much soil, and it sprang up quickly, since it had no depth of soil. And when the sun rose, it was scorched, and since it had no root, it withered away. Other seed fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it, and it yielded no grain. Other seed fell into good soil and brought forth grain growing up and increasing and yielding 30 and 60 and a hundredfold. Now, an illustration is something that the people you're talking to can relate to. And in his day, there was a lot of agricultural activity going on. They understood exactly uh, the image he was trying to create. And I know for me, that's so important in messages uh, to have good illustrations. Somebody once said that uh, a teaching without illustrations is like a room without windows. Uh, it can be structurally sound, but it lets in no light. The other thing you need to see about this parable is that back in those days, they didn't plant their crops in straight, you know, neat rows like we do in a garden today. They had a sower who would go out. He had a, a bag on the side, and he would grab up the seed, and he would cast it out into the field. As you can imagine some of it didn't uh, land in a very good position. Then somebody would come along and turn it under so the seed could grow. Well, let's look at Jesus' explanation of this parable today. He says this, the sower sows the word. So this is about the word of God. These are the ones on the path where the word is sown. When they hear, Satan immediately comes and takes away the word that is sown in them. We have a lot of people that come to church, they get very excited about what we believe, but I never see them again, and, and there's just not chance for them to really get to know what we're saying. And these are the ones sown on rocky ground. When they hear the word, they immediately receive it with joy, but they have no root and endure only for a while. Then when trouble or persecution arises on account of the word, immediately they fall away. That's why it's so important that we're engaged in Bible study. That's why it's important that we are here at the church or watching online or where the case may be because it's going to build that faith in us that we need uh, to let it bear fruit. And others are sown um, among the thorns. These are the ones who hear the word, but the cares of the world and the lure of wealth and the desire for other things come in and choke the word, and it yields nothing. Now, one really good thing for us to do is look at our schedules. What are we doing? What are we spending our time on? And that's where our energy is going to go. That's what's going to really bear fruit in our life. And so we need to take the time uh, for Bible study. We need to take the time to act on what we've heard in church. And then finally, uh, and these are the ones sown on good soil. They hear the word and accept it and bear fruit 30 and 60 and 100 fold. These are the ones who hear and accept and bear fruit. This is what we all hope to do, right? We want to be with the Lord. We want to hear his word. Uh, we want to accept it. In other words, we want to say, okay, this is for me. And then we want to act on it. And I've seen that bear great fruit. I've seen people uh, put Jesus' teachings into action and it affects like, a, like ripples in a pond. It affects so many more people than just that one act. So that's our parable for today. Let's close with prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for your son's way. He teaches us in a way we can see, a way we can understand. He helps us, Lord, to know what's important. And we ask, Father, in this time we could always look to him and learn from him as we pray and study together. We ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, God bless you today, and I'll look forward to coming to you again soon.